Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Klagomar TV. Our topic tonight is the dictatorship of sex education. A German girl in fourth grade class who had previously been praised by her teachers because of her remarkable positive behavior happened to get entangled in severe conflicts because she did not want to attend sexual education lessons. While her female class teacher showed some sympathy, she had to suffer insults by her school principal and was then dragged back into the classroom by force with the help of another teacher. Her schoolmates, who witnessed and heard everything, became anxious. As the girl kept on resisting, she was finally dragged into the staff room where she had to sit out the sex educational lessons. Her parents' attempts to talk to the school staff failed due to the school's refusal to respect the position of the child and her parents in the first place. The hour the girls spent in the staff room together with another similar hour of absence were counted as dismissed hours by her educational authorities. It then happened that the wheels of official bureaucracy started turning. Penalty notice, refusal by the parents to pay the fine, accusation in court, visitation by the bailiff, refusal of payment, refusal to admit any guilt towards the court, reopening and converting the case into an appeal. The case finally gets to the high court of the county where the parents are no longer allowed to defend themselves personally, but are obliged to engage an expensive lawyer. Presently, there is yet a last request of payment from the higher regional court pending. Is this fine, if this fine is not paid, some enforcement will be exerted. From other cases that have become public, it is known that this may lead to imprisonment. Who will help children and parents in such cases when the courts are biased? Thank you for listening to our Uncensored News.